We all know the struggle of finding the perfect self-hosted cloud solution. For years, the landscape was dominated by two major players, Nextcloud and OwnCloud. These were built primarily on PHP. They gave us control, but often came with some heavy performance costs. This is where OpenCloud comes in. OpenCloud is a fork of the original OwnCloud infinite scale architecture, re-engineered from the ground up, written in Go. In this video, we're diving into how to self-host your own OpenCloud instance, get it secured using certificates with a reverse proxy, setting up a designated data mount, and logging into the web UI for the first time. So stay with us and let us begin. For this tutorial, we're going to use two Linux servers. The first one is going to be our reverse proxy running Nginx Proxy Manager. If you guys need a video on how to set that up, the link to that will be in the description below to one of my past videos. And then the second server is going to be for our open cloud instance. I'm going to go ahead and get those built and I will see you guys in just a moment. Now that we have those servers built, there are some prereqs before we can get this started. Make sure you guys set your A record to your domain and then set some C names up to these three aliases. And then that's pretty much all you need to do in the sense of DNS entries. So the first thing that we want to go ahead and do is SSH into our terminal. Once we're there, we are going to need to install Docker. So let's go ahead and go to our browser and go to the Docker engine install for Ubuntu. The link to this will be in the description below. Let's go ahead and scroll down till we see setting up Docker's APT repository. Let's copy that, paste that in and press enter and let that finish. Once this is done, go back to your browser, scroll down and then you'll see the install command. Go ahead and run that and then press Y on your keyboard and press enter. Once that is done, we're going to go back to our browser and we're going to go to the open cloud GitHub. The link to this will be in the description and we're going to click get started should bring us to open cloud with Docker compose on the left side. We're going to click the text where it says behind an external proxy, because that's what we're using in this tutorial. So we're going to click that. Make sure you guys have a public server with a static IP. We already have that. And then here are the three domains, the three C names, aliases that I told you guys to set before. And then make sure you guys have uh, Docker, Docker and Compose installed, which we just did. And then Nginx and Serpbot, we're going to ignore that for now because we are going to be using an external reverse proxy. So we're already SSH into our server. We already updated it. We already installed Docker, so we can just keep scrolling down just a little bit. We don't have to do anything for Serpbot. We can ignore that. Ignore all of this. So we're going to keep scrolling down until we see configure and start open cloud. So let's go ahead and copy. Actually, we can go ahead and copy all of this. I don't like using Nano. So what I'm going to do is if you guys prefer Nano, you can just copy that and paste it into your terminal. I prefer using Vim. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy the first three lines and not the last one. So let's go ahead and paste all of those in, do an LS, and then we're going to Vim.emv. And then now we're in Vim instead of Nano. So insecure, we're going to leave that to true. And then when you scroll down just a little bit, you're going to see some commented out strings. The first one, you're going to see a compose underscore file. Scroll down more. You're going to see another compose underscore file. Scroll down a little bit more. And then you're going to see the third compose underscore file. That is going to be the one that we want to uncomment. So now that that's done, we're going to ignore all of this traffic stuff. We're not using it. And we're going to keep scrolling down until we see OC underscore domain. So here we're going to type in cloud and then dot your domain. So dot kugatsu.cc is ours. And then we're going to keep scrolling down until we see initial admin password. So here we're going to type in YouTube. We'll just type in 09 exclamation point. Hopefully that's a secure enough password. And then we're going to keep scrolling down until we see some more domain entries. So right here we have a collabora. I believe that's how you pronounce it. I might be wrong, but we're going to type in collabora dot kugatsu.cc. Scroll down here to the WOPI WOPI or I'm not really sure how to pronounce any of this, but we're going to keep going here. We're going to type in WOPI server dot Kugatsu dot CC. And that should be the last thing that you guys need to put in here. So we can press escape colon WQ and then we're done there. So the next thing that we want to go ahead and do is CD into external proxy. It is a directory inside of the directory we're currently in ls that and see what we got so we're going to see some files in here the two that we want to change is collabora.yml and opencloud.yml now before we do anything else we're actually going to install a service called telscale and we're going to go ahead and install telscale on this and then i will see you guys in just a moment there are plenty of videos on how to install telscale on a linux server if you guys do want to follow the tutorial make sure you guys look up how to do that and then i'll meet you guys back here now that we have telscale installed we can do an ip space a and at the bottom here we're going to grab our telscale IP and then we're going to vim into Calabora 
root.yml. And then here we're gonna change the localhost IPs to our telscale IP. Once that is done, go ahead and do colon WQ to save. And then we're gonna vim into our opencloud.yml. And then same thing, we're gonna go to the localhost IP, delete that, and then paste in our telscale IP. Let's go and do colon WQ. And then that is pretty much it. So now we can just go back here and then we can do Docker compose space up space dash D. And then let's go ahead and press enter. Should start up and I'll see you guys once this is done after it finishes pulling the container. Once that is done, we're gonna go to our browser and then we're gonna go to our Nginx proxy manager and let's go ahead and log in. So admin at kugatsu.cc. Let's type in our password. And now that we're in, we're gonna click proxy host, add a proxy. And then this is where it gets this is where it gets fun in my opinion. So we're gonna do details. We're gonna type in cloud.kugatsu.cc, grab our telscale IP and paste that in here. And then we're going to do a Docker space PS and let's grab some ports. So actual open cloud is gonna be hosted on 9200. So we're gonna copy that, paste 9200 in here, keep it HTTP. We're gonna do cache assets. And then we're gonna do WebSocket supports. Do not enable block common exploits because this actually will break it and it will no longer work. So the next thing that you wanna do is click this gear at the top right and we're gonna add some custom Nginx configuration. I will add this to my Discord if you guys want to go find it there or I will try to add a paste bin or something of the sorts in the description so you guys can easily paste it. So we're gonna paste this custom configuration in and click save. Now that that's added, we're gonna do an edit SSL we're gonna request a new cert, force SSL and HSTS enabled. And then we're also gonna enable HTTP forward slash two. And let's click save and hope that this go ahead and grabs us a new SSL cert. Once that is done, we're gonna add another proxy host. But before we do that, make sure you guys grab your IP again, paste that in. And now we're gonna type in kalabora.kugatsu.cc. The port is going to be 9980. So we're gonna do 9980. And then we're gonna do cache assets and WebSocket support, SSL, and then we're gonna request another cert, same ticks, go ahead and click save. This one, you don't have to do any advanced configuration. So that one is done. Let's go ahead and make sure we still have this copied. Add one more proxy host, and this is gonna be our WAPI server, .kugatsu.cc. Paste that in. And the port is gonna be 9300, so let's do 9300 cache assets, and then we are not going to enable WebSockets, SSL, we will want to request one. So let's go ahead and do the same ticks and click save. Once that is done, we have our three certificates. We have the proxy set up. The server is running already. Hey guys, what is up? It's Future DOS here. So I do want to say a few things before we continue on to the video. When you guys are adding your configured mount for your data, make sure you guys go to lsvim.emv. Make sure you guys change the OC underscore data underscore DIR path to this. But at the top, it does say that it needs to have the ownership of a thousand colon a thousand. So after you guys set that, make sure you guys do run this command. So sudo space chown, which is change ownership dash R, which is recursive a, th a thousand a thousand. So user and group forward slash mount and then whatever your directory is where your data is going to be stored. So once you guys do that, everything should work once you guys start up the container and I will let you guys get back to the video. Once you guys have all of this set up, we should just be able to click cloud.kugatsu.cc and it should take us right to open cloud. So let's go ahead and log in. Make sure you guys use the password that we set and press log in. Should log us in fine. And now we are inside of open cloud. So now we are inside of open cloud. You guys can go ahead and start adding folders, documents. They support a wide range of extensions and you have deleted files. You have your account preferences here. And at the top left, you can view text editor files, the app store where you guys can install some apps. And then you guys have the admin settings. The admin settings is important here because this is where you guys can add other users to have access to your open cloud instance and you guys can go ahead and add them there and then give them access that way. So that is pretty much open cloud. If you guys did enjoy, please let me know. If you have any questions, please, please ask them in the comments below. I'd love to help you out. If you guys want some more in-depth answers, please join my discord. That will be in the description below and I'll love some one-on-one -on -one talking with you guys and I will catch you guys in the next video.